If you've made an effort to follow the Post Rock Extension District Livestock Programming, I hope it's become evident to you that the financial side of your operation and your profitability are of great importance to us. And so before we can start figuring out whether we're in the red or the black, I think it's definitely important to consider things such as depreciation and fixed cost and how you can help defray those costs across your operation. And so with that, we've got an example here from Clay Mathis with the King Ranch Institute uh, that I'm going to break down a little bit and show you. Uh, we're just going to use simple math, the average cow size herd of 100 cows. You can see our fixed cost will be 30000 and our variable will be 50000 for this example. When we start putting some of that together, our average annual cow cost is right at $800. And so I think it's common uh, for producers to say, well, we can't afford to keep an extra replacement heifer or two, or we can't afford to, to fill the trailer with a couple extra bred cows because our expenses will just shoot through the roof. And while it is true, and I think it's smart to consider uh, exactly what your optimum number or cow herd size should be, I do want to show you that uh, just by adding one extra cow in this example, uh, what we can do to actually boost profitability in, in this operation. So our fixed cost will remain at $30,000. And if we add the $500 of, of per cow variable cost, our total variable cost is $50,500. When we put those two together and actually uh, divide everything by our new cow si or new cow herd size of 101 females, it comes out below $800 at 797. And so by di diffusing our fixed cost across a greater number of cows, it's helped us actually decrease our uh, annual cow cost. And while we are racking up uh, up front an extra $500 expense. Uh, if we're able to wean a six weight steer at $1.60 as it may have been last fall, uh, we're looking at upwards of $900 profit back to your operation, which of course weighs out the $500 expense. Not only have we decreased cow costs, but we have continued to enhance our bottom line and move in the right direction. Now I know firsthand that it's not very fun to sit back and think and talk about what every expense adds up to be and I know it can be a challenge oftentimes, when, especially when we start to consider things such as depreciation. I'll give you a quick rundown of a simple way just to calculate depreciation so that you can put it back into your herd book and your operation and figure out exactly what your annual cow cost is. In this instance we're going to buy a new feed wagon or a, a bale bed pickup at 30000 If we use this pickup for 15 years before it gets too dented in the doors or kicked in or whatever happens uh, on our operations, we know that there uh, is a lot of wear and tear on new equipment. So we're going to use it for 15 years and then resell the pickup for, we'll say, $3,500. And figuring depreciation, then we'd subtract the resale value or the salvage value from our upfront cost, giving us $26,500 as the total depreciation. And when we divide that by 15, uh, diffused across the 15 years, it actually leaves us with a yearly depreciation figure of $1,767, of $1 excuse me. And that's how you know how to charge yourself uh, per year, whether it be for a new pickup, tractor, uh, a new herd sire that you paid for, everything in our operation is going to have depreciation. And that's why it's so critical to account for all the little details when we go into figuring annual cow cost. And I promise that you'll be better off for it as we start figuring our bottom line for the 2018 year. For more information, I'd encourage everybody to take a look at our agmanager.info website. There's everything on there from uh, leasing surveys to rental rates and everything in between. Uh, if you need help navigating the website, you see my contact information is on the screen and I'd encourage you at any time uh, to give me a call or drop me an email or better yet, swing into the office and, and bounce some ideas off me and we'll see if we can't get to a place where we're both comfortable uh, figuring up your bottom line 
I would also encourage everybody to swing by our website. That's postrock.ksu.edu. Stay uh, in line with upcoming livestock programs. And of course, just holler if you have any questions.